here from All Miniatures Great and Small and today we're going to be looking at and reviewing some new American Civil War miniatures. Um, these are Peter Pig miniatures and I purchased them from Brookhurst Hobbies. Um, I'll leave the, uh, the information down below um, in the description if you guys want to go check them out. I did uh, purchase these with my own money so this review is not uh, uh, biased in any way. And well, even if, if I do get a review copy, my reviews aren't biased, but I uh, just wanted to let you know that I did spend my own money on uh, the ship. So what did I get here? Um, if you saw my previous video, um, I reviewed some miniatures from another uh, manufacturer. Uh, those were uh, metal. Uh, these are resin. I actually wasn't sure what I was uh, gonna get, the quality of these. Um, and again, Brookhurst is just the, the, the store I, I purchased it from. Um, Peter Pig is the company. I'm going to go ahead and open up um, these and we'll take a look at it. Alright, so um, I'm just kind of stapled and taped together. Good packaging. Uh, this is the actual um, company that builds the miniature and they're um, you know, UK company. Um, that's one of the reasons I like to go to um, uh, Brookhurst Hobbies. They tend to get a lot of kind of obscure historical and other models um, that otherwise I'd have to purchase uh, internationally and have them shipped over. So um, one thing I noticed though, it doesn't really tell me what ship this is um, in the packaging. It says Range 7 Pack 3. The only and it doesn't say on the, the ship on the bottom. I thought it might say on the bottom. The only way I can tell is by looking at my receipt and seeing the um, the product code from the store. This is uh, PIG 07003. So I'm assuming that's range 73. So this would be the Confederate state ship planter, um, a side paddle paddle wheel. So, the ship itself is in resin. You know, the detail's not quite up to the um, standard of the other uh, miniatures I reviewed. The ones from Thoroughbred. But, I mean, it's got texture on the sides. It's got pilot house windows. You can see the paddle wheel. Looks like there were some bubbles, but you can't really see them. So you, you get the ship and in this case you have a little bag of metal parts as well. Pretty standard. Looks like there are two tiny little cannons and a stack and I guess oh well, that's just the staple to keep everything in. Thought it might be a flagpole or something. So that is pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to get a Sharpie and write on the bottom of these while I assemble them what each one was. I got a selection. So this is, you know, five or six different types of ships. Some of them are Confederate. Some of them are um, American. But uh, we'll open them up and uh, let you guys take a look at them because you really don't get most of these are paddle wheelers, as you can see. Um, get a good idea of what these are. So let's go ahead and do that, open them up. I'm going to mark them up. We'll be right back. Okay, so that took me about an hour. Um, that's also looking up things, uh, looking up names and figuring out what ship was what. Uh, most of them were pretty simple. They, they all had stacks, either one or two. Um, one of them had a ma some masts, the only ship with masts. Um, and this guy had, I'll show you that a little bit closer. What I didn't do was I didn't glue the cannons on. I will probably won't glue those on until I paint the deck. Uh, but I've got them so that I can remember which one goes where. Uh, I took some pictures. So, um, quality overall is, is good. It's not great, but, um, I do realize these are older sculpts and I can't hold them up to 2020 standards of, of miniatures. Um, that said though, there's not too much to complain about. So this is the, um, 
general brag I, I just did that to all of them so I'd remember um, and you can see obviously this was you know hand um, sculpted and look at those exit X's between the two decks and the decoration there um, so it's obviously not 3D CAD or anything like that, but you know that's that's okay. You know, it gives it. This is a handcrafted, well, a, a mold of a handcrafted model, which is pretty cool. Um, I've got the stack, and this ship had this little extra piece in here, which I'm sure is part of the paddle wheels. Um, you know, good sized ships, though. So we have uh, three Confederate and three Union. This is the General Bragg. It has two cannons that go with it. This is the first one we opened up, the smallest one, the CSS Planter, with a couple of cannon. I like these double-ended paddle wheels. This is the CSS Selma with a couple of cannons. Um, a lot of these paddle wheels, I noticed, overall, the you know, coming out of the mold, these guys look pretty good. Um, you got little stairs there and everything. I did notice there is some cleanup that's going to be needed here. Um, and that's, that's hard to get when you're molding. I don't know if I'm going to bother trying to chop that down or just assume it's part of the water being churned up or something like that. But most of these paddle wheels have some residue here so you're, you're not really getting all that detail from the side of the paddle wheel it's all kind of filled in from the mold which you know is okay I wish I could see it but it's not that big a deal especially when it's you know down on the, the tabletop it doesn't look bad at all um, so those are the three confederate then we have the three uh, Union. This is the USS Miami. This one actually had a couple of guns molded. To the ship. And it came with some metal guns for there. Sorry, I'm getting resin residue on my fingers. Um, this guy is the... USS Switzerland, two stacks, and probably the largest ship. This is the Sassicus. It's Sassicus. If you know the pronunciation, let me know down below. I think this is the longest one. Well, maybe Selma. Selma's a hair longer. But this guy's a little bit beefier than Selma. It does have metal masts, and you can see those there. They might be a little overscale, but and part of the the reason is it's got the um, you know it's got the mast kind of tied off there, so it's making the. You know, or sorry, it's got the sails kind of tied to the mast. Those are the words I'm looking for. Okay. So I know online some people have talked about uh, these might not be the most accurate um, models to these ships, but they're um, close enough. And I'm inclined to agree with them. I, I just did you know, internet searches, all of these ships have, well, I don't know if all of them, but most of them have a wiki page, um, and there are several large-scale models you can find uh, built online for most of these ships. But I figure, you know, these guys were built and rebuilt and all that kind of thing, so, the, you know, that discrepancy in um, the look can be kind of explained that way. And that, too, um, you know, that this is how they sold it, the USS or CSS Planter, but I'm sure this class of sailboat or paddleboat um, could be used as a lot of different ships. 
and uh, that's that'll be my head cannon anyway. Um, so far, out of all of the American Civil War models that I have purchased, these are um, you know these are the least expensive so far. Um, most of these run about seven dollars, which is about half of what I paid uh, for thoroughbred models. Just a rough estimate. So, you know, when you're looking at these, the thoroughbred models obviously have a lot more detail, um, a little bit better, um, the, the molding I think is a lot better. I haven't purchased any uh, thoroughbred miniature paddle wheels, so I can't compare directly or the same class, but, um, you know, these guys I think are, are fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paint them up. That'll probably be another video. Um, where we have some of these guys painted up so you can take a look at them in their painted state. They could probably also use some, um, you know, I bet you could put photo etched rails on these and I'm going to try to figure out a way to, to get smoke, maybe with some pipe cleaners or something, um, to, to give them a little bit more detail and scale. Um, but uh, I don't know if I want to go to, to that <laughs> effort, to be honest. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but anyway, there you go. That is a look at uh, Peter Pig's American Civil War uh, range, some of their ships. Um, I like them. Go ahead and check them out. Uh, Peter Pig, if you're in the rest of the world, a uh, domestic seller in the United States would be um, Brookhurst Hobbies. You can check them out online. Um, but, you know, they they sell uh, all across the world so go ahead and check them out as always we appreciate you guys uh, checking us out please uh, check us out on Facebook uh, follow us over there if you don't mind that would be great it always helps out the channel and it keeps you informed on what we're working on um, also here on YouTube please give us a like and subscribe we always appreciate that click on that bell so you can get notifications when we publish new content as always thanks for watching and keep on wargaming